If you've had trouble getting your neckband to lay flat, even though you use the pattern pieces that came with your pattern, I'm gonna show you how to draft your neckband pattern so that you can use whatever fabric you want for any neckband and it'll always lay flat. All right, so you can see here I have two, these are just kind of old shirts I made really quickly one day. Um, and this one I kind of cheated and used an existing pattern piece and look, it's gapping. And this is what it does when it's on me too. And none of us like that. So let me show you how to draft your neckband. So right here I have the center front of a t-shirt and then this is the center back. And see I have them overlapped at the shoulder. So this right here is the shoulder. And I have uh, both of them that here are on the fold, right? And then I have my neckline seam allowance drawn in. So whatever your seam allowance is, this happens to be three eighths. And so if your pattern already allowed for a neckband, uh, you can use your neckline as is. If your neckline though on your shirt is higher up and you wanna add a neckband, you might need to cut off the neckband width of your neckline first before you do this step. So if you're gonna use a neckband that say one inch wide finished, trim one inch off of your entire neckline of your pattern first. And then when you get to this point, come back. All right, so we're gonna draw in the neckband that we want. So I'm gonna use a seven eighths inch neckband. That's kind of my standard width that I like. So I'm gonna draw a parallel line to the seam right here, seven eighths of an inch. So I'm just gonna go around and do this real quick. All right, next I'm gonna extend my center front and my center back all the way up through this line here. Now we're gonna measure this line right here. All right, and now when you have that measurement, write it down. And now get your piece of paper for your neckband pattern and I've drawn a long straight line here. And we're going to make a neckband piece that's this amount here, double, because we have the other side of the neckline here. All right, so now I have my full neckband drawn on here, and now you're going to make it the width that you want. So if I want my neckband to be one inch wide finished, I need it to be two inches wide folded plus the seam allowance that I want. So I'm gonna make it two and three quarters. All right, so lastly, all this needs is seam allowance on either end. We'll add it just like that. And now we have our pattern piece for any fabric. So the key is that you want this neckband to be flat at this inner perimeter and this is why this works. And so it's gonna stretch to fit the neckline here. So if you were to measure your neckline right here and measure this line right here, there would be a difference and that's what how much your neckband is stretching. So you can use this on any fabric. There may be some that just have no stretch whatsoever or they can't like um, scrunch up on it on themselves and they may be a little bit loose but that's going to be the rare fabric like this that has a um, like this has no stretch going this way and it has all the stretch going this way so this is a really particularly weird fabric <laughs> so you may encounter those occasional weird fabrics but this is um, how you would draft your neckband so it lay flat and the last thing I would do is I would put notches on this just put it on the fold and this would be your center front you can measure or you can fold your piece of paper and make, make sure that you mark both long edges just like that and that's your center front and then this would be your center back and you're ready to go. And lastly, uh, you may make sure that the grain line on most of these is going to be going this direction like this but there is the rare case that the fabric is stretchier going this way and then you need to change it. So the greatest amount of stretch on this should be going like this. And so basically stretch, put it on that grain line, right? No matter which way it goes, make sure it's stretching this way. 
good luck. And if you wanna learn how to sew this, or if you wanna know how to do an overlapped V-neck or a center seam V-neck or how to sew either one of those, those are linked in the description too. Happy sewing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.